Brandy Glanville over at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has been talking about the secret salaries of her co-stars. First of all, she's filled us in that she only makes 18 or she only made $18,000 last season for the entire season, which is like no kind of money to give up all that private life. Do you know what I mean? But she wasn't a full-time cast member. Remember, last season she didn't hold the diamond. This season she holds the diamond and they've upped her to $136,000. Which, which, uh, which is okay, but according to Brandy, she feels as though she deserves more. Confidentially, so do I, because she is the reason to watch the Beverly Hills Housewives this season, right? But she's let us know that her other Real Housewives castmates are making like $250,000 for the season, but they've also been there for several seasons. You know, you've got to work your way there. I say you finish out this season with your 136, and then you go in for the kill and ask for 300, and then get 275, and then you're making more than them. <laughs> because without Brandy at this particular point, and I like Kyle and you know the rest of them, but without Brandy, there's really nothing to watch over there in Beverly Hills. They really, do, you, I've been saying this all along. Uh, Andy or whoever's the boss, you, you really need to judge it up. I, I'm not one of these black people who thinks you need black people in everything. Like, I wasn't offended that there were no black people on Friends. As a matter of fact, when Aisha Tyler got on Friends, that's, and remember, Ross fell in love with her, that's kind of like when Friends jumped the shark. I, I was never offended that there were no black people except for a smattering of background people on Sex and the City. You know, um, I, was not, I was not offended by that. And I'm not, it's not that I'm offended that there are no black people on the Beverly Hills one, is that it's that you all need to spice it up. And, and a black woman usually does bring the spice. <laughs> and one of my favorite um, older men of all time is Lionel Richie. You know, his ex-wife is very, very spicy. Uh, she wanted to be part of the, um, the housewife. Do you remember when she fought his wife on the front lawn? <laughs> Fist fought. They were thumping. <laughs> This was years ago, but they straightened it all out and Lionel's moved on and Brenda's moved on. But the thing is, is that he doesn't want her to be on Housewives of Beverly Hills. So um, I suspect that he probably pays her <laughs> to stay home. Okay, so if it's not Brenda Richie, then like I told you guys, how about NeNe? NeNe's out in Beverly Hills now. And, uh, but I just, I'm, or Latoya Jackson or somebody. I just want a qualified presence of a black lady on Beverly Hills. But the bigger story is, the black lady can stay home if you actually do sign up Leanne Rhymes like I'm hearing. Oh! I know, I know, I know. Wouldn't that be the best ever? Radar Online is reporting exclusively that producers are trying to convince Brandy's arch nemesis, Leanne Rhymes, to join Housewives of Beverly Hills. I could watch that fight all day long. They can shut down all the other franchises. <laughs> New York, Atlanta, just shut them down and concentrate on these two going at it. And every once in a while, Eddie walking through the room, looking at us steely and sexy. Uh, anyway, so we'll be watching Beverly Hills. Hopefully you'll do the right thing. Yeah.